A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, as Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside, and on the way he said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him over to the Gentiles, to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked him for something. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Say that these two sons of mine are to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the chalice that I am to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will drink my chalice, but to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, it happened in the life of St. Teresa of Kolkata when she was alive. On a day, a visitor came and the visitor was conversing with our Saint Teresa of Kolkata and as the visitor was conversing, she put a question to our mother Teresa. She asked, Sister, you have got so many admirers in the world. There are many who like to follow you. There are many who like to be your fans. And they have big admiration towards you. May I know the secret of all this admiration, of all these appreciations, and the people wanting to follow you. And the Mother Teresa said, Of course, I'm happy to hear what you're saying. I consider it as God's blessings. I look at it as something which God has given me. But if you ask for me the secret of all this, I will not be able to tell you this. All that I know is, I have been asked to do the work which I'm doing and I have to do it. And the visitor listened to it, and after the conversation, this visitor took a round around the place where our Teresa of Kolkata was catering to the needs of all the abandoned people. After taking a walk around the place, the visitor went back to Mar Teresa and said, Sister, now I know what's the secret of all your success, the secret of all the admiration of many people for you. You are doing the noblest work on earth, caring for the abandoned people, providing for their needs, giving them happy life, and being with them, and giving them love which they could not get from any other place. That is why you have become so famous. Now I come to know that. And Mother Teresa said, God bless you. Once again, I am happy to hear what you are sharing. Dear friends, from today's Gospel reading, we heard very clearly Jesus telling us that whoever would be great among you must be your servant, 
and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Dear friends, to lead a meaningful life, to lead a life which is in accordance with the will of God, this is what we have to do. We should seek to serve the others. We should seek to be of some good use for the society where we have been put in to live. When Jesus says that we have to be service-oriented, when Jesus says we should be willing to become slave, he also did the same thing. Jesus sought to serve the society. He sought to care for the people who are abandoned. He sought to take God's love to all the people for whom it was denied. And he always liked to be of some good service to all the people who were in need of God's touch. And that is how he has become the savior of the world. That is how he has become the redeemer of the world. When Jesus says, you should be the servant of all and you should be willing to be a slave, it is not that he is asking us not to have any rights to our own life, but to experience a real meaningful life to lead a life worthy in the world, we should be willing to become slaves. We should be willing to serve the humanity. And that is what Jesus did. And the background from which Jesus gives us this advice is quite interesting. The mother of the sons of Zebedee comes to Jesus and asks, please grant that the two sons of mine may sit one at your right hand and one at your left hand. And Jesus says, that is not mine to grant. That should be given by my Father who is in heaven. In other words, Jesus is telling us, we should not set our minds on holding power and positions. When they are given, we can have them and we can make use of them to give our service to the humanity. But when they are not given, we should not look for power and positions. We should not look for recognition. We should not look for attention. The history of the world very clearly gives beautiful examples of people who are always service-oriented and became heroes and became role models for many people. The same history also gives us examples for people who are always power-oriented, who are always interested in getting recognition, get, getting attention from the people, and then in their personal life, miserably failed, that we should not experience. If we have to experience a life of blessing, if we have to experience a meaningful life, a lead a meaningful life, if our life has to become one of great importance in the history, we should always adopt an attitude of service, we should always adopt an attitude of being of some good use to the society, to the humanity, and to the world. Let us pray as we take part in this Holy Eucharist that we may imitate from Jesus how to lead a meaningful Christian life and how to be good and how to make our lives witnesses to the life of Jesus. Amen.